discussion on corneal voltage criteria for left ventricular hypertrophy and corneal product. In corneal voltage criteria for left ventricular hypertrophy, S wave in V3 is added to R wave in AVL. Left ventricular hypertrophy as per corneal voltage criteria is considered if the sum is 20 mm or more in females and 28 mm or more in males. ECG showing corneal voltage criteria for LVH. Here the sum of voltages is 29 mm and qualifies for LVH in both males and females. ECG shows LVH with strain pattern in a case of severe aortic stenosis. Left ventricular mass index can be calculated from corneal voltage as follows. LVMI is equal to 14.5 into corneal voltage plus 78.9 for males. 21.5 into corneal voltage plus 61.5 for females. Corneal product is corneal voltage plus 0.6 millivolt for females into QRS duration. LVMI can be calculated from corneal product as follows. LVMI is equal to 0.15 into corneal product plus 68.8. Rodericks and colleagues in a study of 682 participants compared SOC lion and corneal voltage criteria for left ventricular hypertrophy. They found that corneal voltage criteria had a better correlation with left ventricular mass on echocardiography compared to Soclo lion criteria. They also suggested new cutoff values for corneal voltage criteria as 28 mm in males and 19 mm in females. Their revision had a sensitivity of 22.5% in males and 28% in females they could obtain a high specificity of 95%. Here are a couple of references on corneal voltage criteria and corneal product. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.